What were you doing before you started watching this video? Was it important? Does it make you truly happy? Were you just surviving or actually living your very unique life? Let's talk about it. I'll just get a bit more comfy. Much better. We tend to live with fear. Fear of not being there. Fear of missing that super important moment. Fear of not achieving our deepest wishes before we die. We actually fear our own death. Because it's the end, they say. You? Yes, I am talking directly to you. How watching this surrounded by your own reality. Shaped by those who raised you. Widened by those who taught you to fly. Your circumstances are probably totally different from mine, and yet, here you are, taking some of your time to watch this, allowing our realities to converge. From now on, you will never be the same again. Try to stop for a second. Can you still remember who you were before you started watching this video? I believe you're a bit calmer now, so I think I can ask you this again. What were you doing before you started watching this video? Was it important? Does it make you truly happy? Were you surviving or actually living your very unique life? The world makes us believe we need to rush towards the goal if we want to make it. Otherwise, we'll never get there. Taking time to yourself sometimes can feel like a uh, burden or a sin. Shouldn't I be doing this? Shouldn't I be using that spare time to tackle that problem? You've been there. I'm sure we've all been there. I've had my fair share when it comes to allowing others to control my life. I grew up thinking life was easy as long as you kept moving forward in a straight line. No pun intended. I would see everyone around me studying hard, going to university, having kids, having a perfect job, a perfect life. What no one ever told me was that life is not a straight line. What you see every day is nothing but a reflection of your own self. As in, let's say you're walking on the street and you spot two people shouting at each other. Does that affect you? Does that want to make you do something? Do you simply think, probably they just need help with what they're going through? The emotion that situation will bring you is probably something you need to solve or deal with within yourself. Can you think of a time when someone close to you did something that really bothered you? But later on you came to the realization that if you were in their shoes you would have done the exact same thing? Usually it's easy to apply this principle to your parents, for example. My father, for instance, he's very um, impulsive when the situation doesn't make him feel safe. This was something that bothered me for years. I would always think, why doesn't he take a step back when the situation is not easy to deal with, or he just does not feel safe? I couldn't get it. Recently, during my self-discovery journey, I caught myself doing just the same. Harsh responses, impulsive thoughts, all those things I would easily pinpoint in his personality. It's curious, isn't it? Having come back to Portugal, we had loads of plans for the future. Again, always the future. Everything's about the future, never the present day. Why have you chosen to watch this video now? Because you won't have time in one hour? Because if not now, It'll vanish from your mind, because in five minutes the kids will come back home and your parent self will have to get things done. Let me ask again, why have you chosen to watch this video? What if the answer is, well, because I wanted to, or because I feel like I need it, or even because I need to relax, I want to do nothing. That's fine. Right now, it is happening. Allow yourself to enjoy this moment. Live it freely. Take the most out of it. Who knows if you'll be dead in an hour. Enjoy this amazing soundtrack. Enjoy how comfortable you are. Enjoy just doing nothing. It is happening. It is right now. You are this moment. You're a being, spiritual and physical, and as a being, you are, regardless of time. I decided to talk about this because a few months ago, I was not in control of my own life. 
I had a part-time job. I had a full-time job at the hospital from Monday to Saturday. I was a makeup artist. I had to meet my family as I had been away from Portugal for two years. I had to keep reading my books. I had to go to the gym. I had to take care of my apartment, my cars, my friends, my boyfriend. I had to survive. At some point, I actually stopped meditating because I had no time left for that. Or so I thought. So Rui and I, we decided it was enough. We were always better together, as we, we keep on saying, and we used our strategy. Hold on. Is this really necessary? What can we learn from this? And everything changed, slowly. I realized I was surviving. We were surviving, instead of living. I had been caught in the chaos of rushing towards a state of happiness and fulfillment that would never come. Because it never existed in the future. It had always been there, right here, right now. The happiness of recording this video, of enjoying every single second of it, of enjoying this amazing smell, it's incense. <laughs> the happiness of being alive. Long story short, I've quit my full-time job. I post a YouTube video every time I feel like I have something important to say or show, I meditate every day, I heal people around me, even if I'm having a gloomy phase. I can happily say, I am living my life. Death will come, that's for sure, and when she comes, I'll simply hold her hand and go. But in the meantime, I'll be forever grateful for this beautiful life I was given, with amazing people around me. Make sure you treat your loved ones well. Take care of those who need you and let go of those who are holding you back. Be free. During the night, I love doing this. Try to look up. Look at the stars. Aren't we so small? Try to hear what they have to say. Why do we waste our time? Use it wisely. Let me ask this again. After all this, I think you'll have a good answer. What were you doing before you started watching this video? Was it important? Does it make you feel happy? Were you surviving or actually living your life? I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it made you think that it allowed you to relax. The fact that we won't live forever doesn't have to be a sad truth. A very good friend of mine said that why do we sometimes see it as a burden and not as a blessing? I think I should bring her here. Be kind. Always.